Jack Prince, great pick. Welcome back to Keep On Collecting and welcome back to Jurassic Week. And now what do we have? Well, we have this special Mattel Creations, although it's Mattel Creations, but really this was from the SDCC 2023, San Diego Comic Con. And um, what do you say it is? Well, let's first go and look at the box. So it's a lovely big Jurassic Park box, but I love this down here. It's like just a, you know, who, who did what creating this? Yes, it's going to be an action figure. So who did what? I love it. And just on the back, we just have 65 million years in the making, Jurassic Park, Steven Spielberg film. So what is it, you ask? Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. We're just going to open it up out of the box here. So it is part of the Hammond collection. So that's going to be the three and three quarter range. And here it is. Oh, my God. This is awesome. This is the Steven Spielberg set. So once again, celebrating 30 years of Jurassic Park in 2023. As I said, it was from the SDCC back then. Um, yes, he is an industry legend. Director Steven Spielberg is masterfully skilled at creating on-screen thrills. If we're only just half as good as him, we'd be millionaires. But this is cool because this, let me just come back a little bit more on my camera. But this, we'll go up a bit, is a clapper board. And cut. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. An actual clapper board. So what have we got on the back here? Oh, look at that. So, of course, every clap we, we should do that again, shouldn't we? Here we go. We'll go down and back. And I love. Yeah, so this is the other side of it. There you go. It's just to prove my point. <laughs> SDCC exclusive 2023, uh, 9 9 I guess that's maybe when they were actually filming Jurassic Park, the original, for the release of uh, 93. I love how it's got the, the details on there, so let's do that again. Reenact the clapperboard and cut. <laughs> that's a take. Oh uh, dear, awesome. Well, let's get it back around and have a look at the, the Spielberg figure. And there he is. Look at this. Steven Spielberg. He's got a, uh, a Spielberg, oh, I'm trying to get away from the glare here, but there's um, a Steel, Steven Spielberg director's chair. We have the man himself with his cap. And we have his camera and we have a Dilophosaurus, but it's a Dilophosaurus on a, on a stand. Let's pull these figures out and we'll have a bit of a closer look at them. All right, look at everything out of the pack. I love the diorama that comes with. It's of course the old Jeep with Nedry trying to get that cable tired and get himself unbogged. Um, and I guess hence, this is why we have the Dilophosaurus here. So it's a Hammond collection Dilophosaurus. It just comes off that little piece of uh, plastic. And so it's quite articulated in all the ways that Hammond collection figure is. Uh, you come with the neck piece, which we can just um, put on here. All right, that, that took a long time to put on his frill there so uh, that didn't go all that well so uh, that piece there the little red piece that comes that comes off the red part there around his neck um, but then like if you leave it off the frill just flops around very loosely so you need that red piece there don't uh, kick Stephen please all right so that is the Dilophosaurus we'll put him back this is the piece that you get with it the the accessory so that would be, so it's supposed to be on wheels. That'd be cool if it slid around. And like, I guess the, the dinosaur puppet in real life would sit on that cradle and they would move it up and down the rails um, for, the, for the shot. So for this exercise, he can sit there. There we go. Then we've got the chair. Uh, a lovely director's chair there with the word Steven Spielberg written on it. That's uh, just the way it is. It doesn't fold up or, or, well, there you go. It does actually come out. Oh, there you go. So that actually does come off of there. And on the back, we've got Jurassic Park. So that clips on and off there. So you could probably swap it around. 
And instead of having Jurassic Steven Spielberg, you'd have Steven Spielberg over here. There you go. That's the chair, the director's chair. Then we have the camera, which I think just just swivels around like so. And that's all that does. Nothing else moves on it. And then, of course, we have the man himself, Steven Spielberg. Focus, please. Eventually. All right, there's Steven Spielberg. It's a little bit hard to focus, actually. So I don't know if you can see the T-shirt design. That is Godzilla on there. How appropriate. That is amazing. Godzilla being 70 years of Godzilla, of course, coming up. And then he's got this T-shirt and the hat. I think the glass has come off. I don't want to take them off. Like, you can see that there, there is a little bit of elastic around. It's trying to focus, but it can't. There's just too much. There you go. It's focusing there. And that is his glasses. I think they come off. I think the hat stays on. But there you go. Spielberg with his beard. I wonder if he really wore that. Uh, while directing this film back in 92. I'll do some research and I'll pop it up on the screen if he did. So this is now, let's take a few of these away and do the comparison. This is the Hammond Collection Triceratops. Lovely and big, look at that. And we'll take Mr. Dilophosaurus around there. Look at that. So it's Spielberg with his um, tri Triceratops. That's the Hammond Collection Triceratops. Um, once again, I do have that T-Rex, but he is just too big to get into frame. So that's what Mattel said. They wanted the Hammond Collection to be all in that three and three quarter scale. The dinos, the figures, the accessories. Yep, they all wanted to be in scale for your world building, for your Jurassic Park. So that's brilliant. I love it. So there you go. This is the Steven Spielberg set. Well, I've added more to it, obviously. We've added a Jeep and a few extra figures. And, but yeah, this is the, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive from 2023. It's, uh, yeah, sadly not available anymore. It's one of these ones you're going to have to pick up on the secondary market. I think there's quite a few of these around 10 or 11 months ago when I first picked this up. So it wasn't so bad. It was look, probably uh, maybe 120 Australian to get out. And that's like from the US to get out to Australia. So whether you're still paying that amount, amount to get out here now, I'm not sure. But I think there's quite a few of these. So they're probably quite easy to get by. All right. So is this something that you would like for your collection? This is the great thing about the Hammond Collection. These are all in scale with each other. Great for world building. Another great addition to my collection, which you'll see later on in the week. So until then, thank you for joining me. Look after yourselves and your families. Remember to get into your toy rooms. And as Andrew and I always say, that's to keep on collecting your Jurassic Park. Bye.